friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a soft cataract nuclear sclerosis is about in grade 2 i have taken up this case for surgery let us observe this almost on edited recording this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at mid limbus 2% hpmc is then used to fill up the anterior chamber and now a side port is to be made about 3 clock hours away from the main incision on the left side this is the side port and now capsulorexis is being done with the help of this utrita forceps size of this rexis is about 5.5 mm the capsular tag is guided all around and then adequate size rexis is done and now hydro dissection 27 gauze cannula and bases is used you could see the fluid wave going to the other side the nucleus is tapped the nucleus is nicely rotated and now 2% hpmc is used again to fill up the anterior chamber and now in this case i'm using this pre chopper to divide this nucleus into four pieces on my left hand is a long chopper with a ball at the end and i'm using this to divide the nucleus into four pieces is done. Now once the nucleus is divided into four pieces manually the rest of the job is quite easy. In soft cataracts it is difficult to hold the nuclear mass with vacuum that's why This technique is very good in soft cataracts. Now I just tilt the pieces and start emulsifying. See how easily we can tilt the pieces, hold at the edge, and start emulsifying. always the tip of the fake needle is in the bag in the anterior part of the capsular bag just below the iris plane yes it is done nucleus and epinucleus has been managed and now in this case i'm going to use coaxial ia to remove this cortex this is a coaxial ia from ortley and i have managed the nucleus by ortley cataracts 3 and see how nicely we can hold the lens matter and remove it coaxial ia is faster than by manual ia sometimes the sub incisional cortex cannot be removed by coaxial ia in those cases only we have we have to spend some more time otherwise in other cases it saves lot of time and now i am using the irrigating probe of bimanual ia to polish the posterior capsule 
this is done by irrigating jet of fluid and the probe actually doesn't touch the posterior capsule and now a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is pushed by the irrigating probe in the left hand into the capsular bag and now whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge is being irrigated out the lens is nicely set this is a bit of moxifloxacin the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration on either side of this stab wound and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber for this I like this instrument because we can use the aspirating port for irrigation and all the visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium can be removed by this instrument and the anterior chamber can be very nicely formed by this instrument it is done the anterior chamber is nicely formed and then the integrity of all the wounds are checked see the main wound is not leaking and we have not hydrated the main wound few drops of moxie over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence